guys, my name is Victoria Pavla. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today, guys, I will show to you how you can apply a scroll effect to any image in Adobe Photoshop. It will be very short, but with a lot of information at tutorial. So let's rock and roll. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have created my simple document. Of course, guys, you can create your document in any size you like. Also, I have opened already my image I would like to work with. You can use any image you like. Now, I have two layers. One layer, bottom layer, is a simple um, a layer with white color in it. And top layer is my image I would like to apply this scroll effect to. Next step is select uh, to select the bottom of my paper why the bottom of my paper because i would like to apply this scroll effect to the bottom of my paper to do so i will highlight um uh, polygonal lasso tool you can use any selection tool you are more comfortable with and using my polygonal lasso tool i will select part of my paper paper i would like to apply this scroll effect to just like that. When you are working on uh, creating a scroll effect to some specific image, you need to take into consideration position of your uh, image. So as you see, left uh, um, bottom of my selection positioned lower than right top uh, corner of my selection. Because if you will look at the bottom of my um sticky note paper you will see that a left corner positioned lower than top corner now after i selected part of my uh sticky notes i would like to click on edit and here i will click on warp so i specify that now i will be using warp tool time to customize my warp tool to do so i will click on first icon in split uh, family in the options bar and i will create first segment i will split my selection right here just like that second uh, split um uh, uh option will be vertical split effect i would like to ap apply to my warp I will click on split the warp vertically. It's second icon in our split family. And I will apply, I will tell Photoshop that, you know, Photoshop, I would like to split my selection right in here. After I specified, uh, adjusted my warp effect, time to apply actually this warp effect to my selection. To do so, I will highlight my top split segment and i will drag it a little bit on top same with all others i don't care about this part of my paper because it will be not visible but i do care about right bottom corner of my paper because this part will be visible i will highlight the bottom split segment and i will move this segment a little bit on top top just like that and look at this side of our uh, paper this side has nice curvy effect and this is what i was looking for again i don't care about this part because um, this part of our paper will be not visible after i'm happy with my warp effect i will click ok to accept all changes and i will deselect my selection now, I will create a new layer on top of my all layers. I will click on um, the Curvature Pen tool to activate this tool. In the options bar, I will specify shape, not pass, guys, shape. I will specify fill to gradient color. We will change uh, color stops later on. And I will specify that I don't need any stroke color in my shape. After I specified everything, I will click on um, uh, any 
a place near the left uh, bottom of my paper just like that double click because i would like to create straight point between a straight line between two kerchief points now i will click in here to create second kerchief point and i will move this point a little bit on top just like that i double click to create um uh straight kerchief uh line uh, straight line between two kerchief points between first and second kerchief points and now i will create third kerchief point and fourth kerchief point here i will double click on this <coughs> fourth kerchief point because i would like to create straight line between my next kerchief point just like that double click to create straight kerchief point and i will close my shape this shape is <laughs> obviously not what i was looking for time to fix it what i will do i will double click on um first kerchief point and now you can see that we have straight aligned between first and second kerchief point i will double uh, click on this kerchief point just like this to create straight line and i will adjust this kerchief point i will click on it and i will reposition it just like that maybe something like this perfect this is what this is what i was looking for but we have one imperfections in here let me fix this part we can preview our paper at the bottom of our scroll effect how we can fix it we will fix it just in a second before that i would like to change colors of my um in my gradient to do so i will uh, click on a fill color here i will click on um first um gradient um color and after photoshop will launch color picker picker palette i will click on red yellow i'm sorry yellow color in my paper to select this color what i will do i will move um my uh color picker in a, a little bit darker tone of yellow color just like that maybe something like that and i will click ok and now look at this we have perfect scroll effect but as i mentioned just a second ago we need to fix a bottom of our scroll effect to do so i will highlight my um, paper uh layer i will be using a uh, polygonal lasso tool you can use again any selection tool you're more comfortable with and i will select visible part of my paper i don't want to be visible just like that after i selected it i will simply click on delete key just like that and i will deselect it now we have perfect scroll effect but we need to add some shadows under our paper and inside our scroll effect to make it more natural looking to do so i will highlight my background layer i will switch to my uh curvature pen tool in the options bar i will specify shape but i will specify solid color i will be using dark a gray a color and again guys i can change we can change a color of our shape at any time later on so using my uh kerchief pen tool i will create this shape under my uh, scroll paper just like that pay attention to your uh paper and i will close my shape and again we created shape uh with a lot of curve in it how we can fix it after we closed our shape it's simple double click on any kerchief point you would like to apply a straight a line so example i will double click on this kerchief point and i will double click on this curvature point and i created straight a line between two of them just like that now what i will do i will click on filter i will click on blur and here i will click on gaussian blur 
Photoshop is asking me, do you want to rasterize your shape? Yes, please. And after Photoshop will rasterize it, let me bring my Gaussian, Gaussian blur uh, panel in here. I can specify radius, maybe about, yes, about 40.2. I will click OK. And after that, I will bring down opacity of my layer. So in the uh, layer in a Layers panel, I will bring down opacity of my shadow layer to about, let's see, about 76. What else we need to do? We need to add a shadow between our paper and our scroll effect. To do so, I will highlight my um, sticky notes layer. I will create a new empty layer on top of it. So I created a new empty layer between my sticky note uh, layer and my scroll effect layer. And using a curvature paint tool, I will create a simple shape. Double click, double click, double click, and double click to close my shape. Now, what I will do, I will bring down opacity of this layer, just like that. And yes, guys, you're right. I will click on filter, blur, gazer blur, rasterize, and I will specify radius to about 30, 40.2. And I will click OK. And look at these guys. Now we have perfect scroll effect we have created with you. But I see one imperfections in here. What I will do, I will select my scroll effect layer. I will click on um, curvature pen tool. I will click here and I will extend this segment. Also, you notice, guys, I have created extra curvature point. I don't need this extra curvature point. I will highlight it and I will click delete key, uh, delete to um, delete key to delete this point, just like that. And look at this. Look at this, guys. One second. And now we have perfect scroll effect we just created with you. If for your taste, you don't want to have a, white, a lot of white in your scroll effect, select your shape. Let's see, where is it? Select, select your shape. After that, activate your curative pen tool. Click on fill, just like that. Click on a white point color point and change to any color you like just like that better i think it's much 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 better look at this so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today now you can create um scroll effect to uh any um image you like if you have any questions ask always just ask i'm here to help thank you guys for all your support thank you guys for uh all your questions uh i appreciate it very much and again if you would like me to record something specific just let me know and i gladly will do it for you thank you so much guys and i will see you later bye